Hi, Miss Russell. Well, hello, Miss Ryder. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm having fun learning about the planets. Oh, I love the planets. I love learning about the solar system. Yeah, it's very cool. So today, do you want to help us read this book by Gail Gibbons? I would love to. All right. I'm going to pull the book up on our screen here. There we go. All right, here's the title page. Let's get started. Oh, there's the whole solar system. What's your favorite planet besides Earth, Miss Russell? I really like Saturn. I love the rings. Ever since I was a kid, I loved Saturn. Yeah, I didn't know that they were made of ice before I read that article from yesterday. I didn't know that either. I really like Jupiter because it has that big red storm on it. Yes, and it's also a really pretty color. I like mm -hmm. the colors. Okay. All right, I think we're ready. Okay, here we go. On a clear night when stars shine brightly, you might see what looks like another star. But each night it changes positions in the star patterns. It is a planet. The word planet comes from the Greek word meaning wanderer. All the planets except Earth are named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. A planet is different from a star. People can see a planet because the sun shines on it. A star shines because it is made up of burning gases that give off light and heat. Our star, our sun is a star. Nearly every star is much bigger than the biggest planet. And in very early times, people knew of six planets. They were Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Later, three more planets were discovered. They were Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Today, there are eight planets in our solar system. In 2006, Pluto was designated a dwarf planet. Poor Pluto doesn't get to be a planet anymore. I know. <laughs> Planet Earth is where we live. It is one of the planets that circle the sun. Together, they make up the main part of the solar system. The word solar means connected to the sun. The planets circle around the sun in paths called orbits. The time it takes for a planet to travel around the sun is its year. Each planet's year is different. Um, how long is our year, Miss Russell, on Earth? 365 days. So that's why we have a birthday once a year. That's right. While a planet is orbiting around the sun, it is moving another way too. It spins or rotates. The time it takes for a planet to rotate is its day. Each planet's day is different. While a planet is rotating, part of it faces the sun. It is daytime there. On the other side, it is night time. People can look up on a clear night and might see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. A planet looks like a steady point of light. A star twinkles. A telescope is needed to see Uranus, Neptune, and the dwarf planet Pluto because they are very far away from the planet Earth. Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. It is about 36 million miles 58 million kilometers away from the sun. During the, during the day, it is extremely hot. 
During the night, it is bitter cold because mercury doesn't have any atmosphere to keep its heat from escaping. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It is made up of rock and metal. One year on Mercury is, a, is only 88 Earth days. That's how long it takes for Mercury to orbit the sun. Mercury rotates very slowly, so its days are very long. A day on Mercury is 59 Earth days. Wow. What a day in uh, quarantine feels like, right? <laughs> yes. Um, you know what I like about this book? I heard you say the word atmosphere, and it has a little text feature right here that tells you what an atmosphere is. It says an atmosphere is a layer of air. So Earth has one of those. It has an atmosphere of air around it, so we can breathe and live here, but Mercury does not have one. All right, let's go to Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is usually the brightest object in our sky, other than our sun and moon. At sunrise and sunset, it looks like a big bright star. It is bright because Venus has a cloud, has a cloud cover that reflects the sun. These clouds are made up of gases. Venus is 67 million miles, 108 million kilometers away from the sun. It is hot there. Venus is almost the same size as planet Earth. One year on Venus is about 225 Earth days. A day on Venus is about 243 Earth days long because Venus rotates very slowly. On Venus, a day is longer than a year, and a year is shorter than a day. Wow. <laughs> That's very weird. <laughs> Earth. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet known to have just the right environment for plants, animals, and people to live in. Earth is about 93 million miles, 150 million kilometers from the sun. Planet Earth has just enough gravity to hold its atmosphere around it. Earth has one moon. Earth orbits the sun in about 365 days to make an Earth year. It rotates every 24 hours to make an Earth day. And I see another little text feature on this diagram where it tells us more about the moon. A moon orbits a planet. It has no light of its own. It reflects sunlight. So that's kind of cool. When we see the moon at night, we're just looking at sunlight being reflected off that moon. Yes. All right, let's go to Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, about 142 million miles, 228 million kilometers away. People wonder if there was ever life on Mars. Although the surface of Mars is dry now, it once had rivers and perhaps even an ocean. In 2012, the Mars Science Laboratory's rover, Curiosity, landed on Mars to examine the planet's surface and climate. Scientists may still find evidence of life forms. Wow. Astronomers believe that Mars looks red because iron on its surface has been rusted by the planet's thin atmosphere. It is very cold and is a little more than half the size of planet Earth. Mars has two small moons. One year on Mars is about two Earth years. A day on Mars is as long as a day on Earth. Wow, I did not know that Mars was red because it's covered in rust. I didn't know that either. Very interesting. Whoops. Jupiter, my favorite. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. 
It is about 484 million miles, 778 million kilometers away. It is huge. It is bigger than all the other planets put together and has very thin rings around it. Jupiter is mostly made up of gases. Some of the gases from the giant red circle called the giant red spot. At least 62 moons orbit around planet Jupiter. One moon, Ganymede, is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than planet Mercury. Another moon called Io has many active volcanoes. One Jupiter year is almost 12 Earth years. It has short days, just under 10 Earth hours long. Wow, so it must be rotating around really fast. Yes. Imagine looking up at night and seeing 62 moons in the sky. Wow, that would be amazing. My planet. Saturn is the sixth farthest planet from the sun, about 886 million miles, 1.4 billion kilometers away. It is the second largest planet. Saturn's thousands of rings make it look different from the other planets. The rings are made up of ice and rock. Some pieces are as big as houses. On Saturn, it is extremely cold. Saturn has at least 60 moons. Titan, its largest moon, is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere. It takes almost 30 Earth years for Saturn to orbit the sun. Saturn rotates in about 11 Earth hours. Wow, so it's kind of like Jupiter rotating pretty fast. Yes. And it has a lot of moons. Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. It is about 1.8 billion miles, 2.9 billion kilometers away. It is so far away that from its surface, the sun would look tiny. Uranus has 11 rings. Uranus is the third biggest planet, about one third the size of planet Jupiter. At least 27 moons orbit around it. Planets farther from the sun have larger orbits. They take more time to travel around the sun. For Uranus to make one orbit, I'm sorry, for Uranus to make one orbit takes about 84 Earth years. Uranus rotates in about 17 Earth hours. Wow, that's a long time to get around the sun. That is. That is a big orbit. <laughs> Neptune. Neptune. Neptune is the eighth farthest planet from the sun. It is about 2.8 billion miles, 4.5 billion kilometers away. Neptune appears to be blue because of a gas called methane in its atmosphere. It is almost the same size as Uranus. One of Neptune's 13 moons, Triton, is about the same size as planet Earth's moon. The spacecraft Voyager 2 visited Neptune in 1989. One Neptune year is 165 Earth years. Neptune rotates at about 16 Earth hours. All right. Pluto. I'm sorry, were you going to say something, Ms. Ryder? Oh, no. Pluto. After its discovery in 1930, Pluto was known as the ninth planet in our solar system. Now there are eight planets. Because of its size and unusual orbit, it, is, it has been classified as a dwarf planet. Sometimes its orbit carries it closer to the sun than Neptune. At its farthest, Pluto is about 4.6 billion miles, 
7.4 billion kilometers from the sun. Pluto is cold. It is smaller than Earth's moon. It has three known moons. The largest one, Charon, one year on Pluto is about 248 Earth years long. A day on Pluto is about six Earth days long. Wow. I didn't and know that Pluto has its own moons, even though it's a small, it's smaller than our moon. I know. Here on planet Earth, astronomers search the skies through telescopes. Spacecrafts are sent into the solar system and beyond in search of new discoveries. We are always learning about the planets, the stars, and what lies beyond. It is fun to search the night skies for planets and stars from our planet Earth. Very cool. And I heard this new word astronomer. So I'm going to look here at this text feature to find out what that is. An astronomer is someone who studies the stars and planets. Oh, kind of like a meteorologist studies weather. Yes. All right. Is that, yep. It's the end of our book. So I guess we'll say goodbye, but I want to remind the third graders watching at home, um, you guys are gonna start a research project about one planet, you get to pick your favorite. So one thing you could do is go back and find that page we just read about your planet and write down some notes of things you learned from it. So thank you for reading with me today, Ms. Russell. Oh, thank you. All right, see you next time. See you next time, bye.